Hi y'all, my name is Amanda Cross and I'm the blogger behind the Happy Arcans and today we are going to be doing some research on a library database. So if you guys have seen the post I just posted on the blog, the Happy Arcans and it's all about using the library databases and I'm actually going to take you into a research, um, into some research that I'm personally doing and we are going to be learning about research databases. So first, I'm going to Google Chrome. It's my library data. It's my. It's my. <laughs> it's where I normally go to search the internet. So first things first, we're going to go to my campus and our computer, our website. So, astate.edu. I go to Arkansas State University. And we have a number of databases, and I'm just going to teach you something that I know personally. Um, and it's an EBSCOhost database, so it's actually pretty good. Because a lot of people use EBSCOhost databases. So we're going to go to criminology, or criminal justice abstracts. And so, obviously maybe you're not using criminal justice abstracts per se, but you're probably using... Um, something related. So I had to log in really quick because obviously I'm not on campus. I'm at my house, which is like 90 miles away from campus. So I have to log in to have access to this, and you probably have to log in to have access to yours too. Just that. Sorry, I had to think about my password really quickly. <laughs> Um, so this is what the EBSCO host looks like. I'm pushing this around like I don't, I, you can see my face, but you can't. Um, this is what EBSCO host looks like. Um, it has a bunch of different stuff here. You can see that it's searching just criminal justice abstracts with full text. Um, but there are other databases that I could t search um, that I have access to. So I could include any of these in my searches too if I wanted to do so. Um, I'm just going to keep it keep it simple and keep with criminal justice abstracts, but I could technically add any of these because they're all EBSCO host. So, yeah, we're going to press OK because we're not really going to change anything. Okay, so I am looking up stuff right now about hate groups. And so I'm just going to look up hate groups right now. And so when I do this... I'm going to pick up a lot of terms, so essentially I'm picking up 193 terms, which isn't crazy, but it could be like, I've picked up way more, honestly, in, uh, in the past. So, I'm just looking up hate groups, 193 people, 193 results, and so these results are going to be from a wide array of things. So I want to narrow this search down. So how am I going to narrow it down? I'm going to go to the advanced search. And for the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to say that I only want scholarly peer-reviewed journals. This is a super easy way to narrow down your searches because it's going to narrow down and take out all of those things that aren't scholarly or just kind of opinion fluff pieces that, hasn't, that haven't been peer-reviewed. And so... In some cases, it's okay to add stuff like that, but in most academic journal, academic writings, you want to be using scholarly peer-reviewed sources. Um, so they don't do that because not all times you need to do that. Like sometimes it's newspaper articles or like website journals and stuff. And so sometimes blogs and, and newspapers are good sources, but not all the time. So we're going to, and this is for some research I'm doing. So I'm, I don't really want to have that in there. So it's 67 sources now. And even this is a bit much. It's 67. It's not as much 193 as much as 193, but it's still a bit of, of stuff. And it's technically just about all kinds of hate groups. So maybe I don't want 100. I don't want 67 sources. So the thing that I can use are called booleans or phrase or phrases. Boolean phrases. Here you can see these are and, or, or not. So. Something I could do is use the, so I'm going to show you what these things do. So, and um, restricts or, or makes it bigger and not restricts 
again. So, and restricts in that it says, I need to see hate groups and a certain phrase in this. So, if I wanted to look up social media, how so hate groups use social media, I would say hate groups and social media. And so, that would do this. So, we're actually going to do that. Social media. So, this would, this restricts my search down to four because I had to see social media and hate group in the article title or anywhere within the article but I could make that change that and say that I need to see hate groups in the title and social media in the title that might restrict it to just one honestly or I could just say select all field six field optional and that'll bring me back up to four um, so you can do a lot of stuff with this one Okay, so what if I wanted to do hate group or hate groups or social media? So this is really, 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 really going to open up my thing, and I, I'm already I already know it is. I'm just going to warn you that it's going to go from four to a lot, because or means that I'm literally looking up hate groups or things to do with social media. So it's gonna it's gonna be gaping, you guys. It's gonna be huge search results. So, we are now at a 901, because as you can see, it is pulling up some of the stuff that's social media and hate groups, but it's also just pulling up stuff that's social media or hate groups. So, it's a really big deal. That's gaping. So, what if I, so what if I did hate groups, not social media? So, literally what this will do is this will just look up hate group stuff and X out social media completely. So, anything hate groups that has to do with social media it's not going to show me so we do this and it goes down again to 63 so before we did this bef before we just had hate groups um, if we just had hate groups we would have 67 but we took out four things because we said not social media so all of those social media stories went away when we did this. So see, it went from 67 to 63. And so that's how those Boolean phrases work. And they're really, really good for narrowing your search a little bit. And you can add many other Boolean search. So maybe I want to say, and not terrorism. Because I don't really want to look at hate groups that are related to terrorism. So I would just cut that too. And that takes me from 67 to 63 from just taking out social media. And then another big cut because I took out terrorism because I didn't want to learn about it. So you can see how you can add on and add on and reduce and reduce if you really wanted to. So, um, so the next thing we can look at is advanced searching again. And we can... Actually, it's easier to do it this way, um, but literally just looking at publication date is another good way to do this. So as you can see, it goes all the way back to 1986. So what if we wanted something from like 2000 to 2016? We just cut out 10. Sorry, we're not looking at scholarly peer review journals anymore. So we just went from... 55 when we were just looking at hate groups, not social media, not terrorism, and now we're at 50. We we're at 55 when we did all that, and now we're at 51 because we said that we only wanted to look at 2000 to 2016. So, what else can we do? We can do so much with these things, and I don't usually tend to go past this kind of stuff, um, but some people like to do a little bit more. Some people will say linked full text. Um, I don't really like to do that because um, if it's not full text available, it won't show it to you. But you can always usually do something like interlibrary loan. A lot of colleges have really good interlibrary loan systems. So it's not always good to not be shown something just because your library doesn't have it at the time because you can usually borrow it from another library. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't click that or anything, to be honest. You can do it by subjects here. You can do about publication. So if you knew you had a really great art, or you had a really great journal, and it showed up here, you could 
basically and choose to just look at stuff that comes from that journal. Um, you could look at publishers. So if you have like a really awesome publisher, like I know Sage Publications is awesome. So anything Sage, I would love to read. But some of these other ones are really good too. If you want to go in the language, because sometimes let's be honest, we can't. I can't read Czech and I can't read Swedish. So just taking off English would probably could be helpful for me if that is something that I'm interested in. You know, you don't have to, but it's obviously something you could be interested in if you want to just download all of these articles at once. Um, so, I this is just so many great things that you can do with your database. And now I'm going to actually teach you how to do a little bit more. So we're going to say linked full text because I want to look at full text articles um, for this part of this. And so... The individual psychology of group hate. So say I was doing something about group hate. And I was really interested in this article. So I'm going to open this article up really quickly. Um, so let's see. Let's wait for it to load. We're waiting a little longer than normal, but it's okay. So this is an awesome article. Let's say we have an awesome article. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the article. It's from the Massachusetts Institute of MIT. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's pretty good sources. Wise. Um, yada, yada. So, I like this article. Say I love this article. And I'm wanting to really want it. I really want to do more with it. So, I can go down here to the references section. And I can look up all of the references of this person. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit so you guys can see it a little better. So I have, this article has many pages of references. So it goes from 29 to 33 up top here, not down here. Um, so goes 47 here. Um, that's a lot of references. I, oh, it actually goes to 34. So 29 to 34 at the, t at the top up here. Um, so this person has a lot of references. So what I would do is I would literally go through these one by one, just reading the titles just to see if anything catches my mind. So I see here that Culture of Honor, The Psychology of Violence in the South. And it's from Harper Collins. It's from Harper Collins. That means it's actually a book. And that could be a potential book that I want to look up. So what I usually do is I usually mosey on over to Amazon.com. That's my go-to place to buy books. Um, so mosey on over here. I copy-paste that title. And then I see this is a book that I could potentially buy. But what you might also want to do is just go back over to your library website. So ac.edu. We're going to go back over to my website in the library. Um, and they have this thing called a OneSearch. And what I really like about this is that you can literally just look up stuff there. Or, like, we have a library catalog here. So it shows all of the books in the library. So you can look up this and see if, by chance, you guys have it in your library. You might not. You might. Who knows? Um, and we, I think we actually do have it, maybe. Ooh, that's just truncated. Okay, we may, we may not. Okay, so we have similar books, but I don't think we have the actual book that I'm looking for. So, but we see this at on Amazon, and that's a book that we could potentially buy. So if your library has it, then that's good. But if your library doesn't have it, you could potentially buy it, and it's something that you think would actually do a really good do job in a you would actually care to actually have, then this is something you could do. Um, and then, usually on the library website, you can usually go in and um, read at least part of the book um, and go through and see if it's something you'd be interested in. And you can usually look at like the table of contents here, and we see that we can't really look at the table of contents, it doesn't seem like. Because that just still is illustrations. It's not really the table of contents. Um, sometimes you can look at the table of contents. Sometimes you can't, just depending on how the look inside thing works. 
Um, with the Kindle, you can usually get something to send you a, a sample. And so this is what I usually get. It's like send a free sample. And it's usually like the first chapter and first little bit of the book. So that's always really good. Um, it's 144 pages. You know, you can always see all that stuff. Um, all of the different ways that you could buy this. Really great way to do that. So essentially I've taken this chapter, this article that I have, I've taken it from just one article to essentially an article and a book that I could use in my paper. So if we go through this more and more, we might be able to find even more articles that we love. And maybe that might not be available at our campus. We might have to go get them from interlibrary loan. We might have to do a lot of different things. But you could potentially find so many amazing hints and glimmers in the papers. So essentially, you could have just 10 great awesome articles and turn those awesome articles into 50 because you're taking you're going through their works cited pages and the references pages and finding more nuggets so I definitely encourage you guys to get through and do this because this for me has been a lifesaver when I'm going through and I'm trying to find articles because after a while like there's only so much you can do and it's really going to help you and another thing I really encourage is like once you find a good article usually they'll have keywords so these are keywords for this hatred ethnocentrism racism messia xenophobia hate crime so essentially i could look up those keywords um within this so um i'm not in there anymore let's see if i can go back oh okay maybe not okay um so yeah maybe i want to go to criminal justice abstracts and da, 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 da. I want to say like how ethnocentrism plays a role so maybe I want to do an advanced search um, make sure my scholarly peer reviewed is on maybe I want to do hate groups and ethnocentrism or I want to go back <laughs> hate groups and ethnocentrism so I want to make sure that scholarly peer review is checked off and so then maybe that's a great way for me to find something that <laughs> essentially it was just what I just posted but sometimes it's different um, or maybe xenophobia because that's a really big thing that's happening now xenophobia and see if we can come up with something besides this article so we have two, so the politics of hate, ultranationalist and fundamentalist, fund, fundamentalist tactics and goals. So that is something that's totally new. And these are two t different articles, and I could potentially look at those articles if I was interested in hate groups and xenophobia after looking at this article. So I could look at the abstract, and obviously you don't want to have to do all of this at once. So what I do, what I have been doing is I have basically just been doing this looking this up and then if I find something I think is interesting I'll go here and I'll put it in a master reference list and so this is my thesis master reference reference list so far I just kind of started stockpiling stuff here um, and so this is just like I had two articles from a book and then I looked up a couple of different articles and then I just like went on these tangents and so, and then I'm also saving the, uh, the documents to my computer under a thesis folder that I have on my computer. So this is definitely an option if you're interested at all in just stockpiling data. And I think that's true because the more references you have, so even if you only need 20 references, if you have 50 references, you can use the best of those references instead of using 20 crappy references because you were able to stockpile 50 of them and so you're able to make a better paper because of it so this is some just different tips and techniques I've used to do my research and I hope this video has been helpful for you as I talked you through all of these awesome things that you can do with research databases so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye